This is like what drains are made out of. Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah. Some people to understand it is like having these dope cinematic rigs in the in the wilderness. We're shooting a movie. Cheers. It's good that this song's on because. <laughs> yeah. We made it. Yeah. Let's go. What are you? Oh. here years ago I was here years ago and I saw this place and I was like you know what one day I hope that I get to take a whole crew of the best one leaders in the world and can make a movie mm -hmm. now here we are this is like a whole new thing right we're like merging this stuff so it's a matter of how willing you how, how much yeah. you got in you to be like no I'll hike up there if you can when the board evolves maybe it gets to the point where you aren't hiking you know you're like Whoa. Well, you go find a good spot. Look at this feature. These, are, this is our gold right here. All of these. Seriously, it took me a second to get up. Um, and then there's a spot that's a tiny bit steeper. But I think you could get that whole thing in like one flow motion. Mine tells you not to. Dude, look at And free riding has been first. <laughs> oh man, just powering through it, that was nuts dude. I saw the line I took off the drop and it was just <gasps> That was so sick, oh my gosh. I was like I might roll off the hill, who cares, it's gonna be sick. Oh. That was good, that was great. Say hi, Kevin. Kevin! Wave! Quick! Oh, get down from that sand dune, Kevin. How'd it look up there? It was pretty sick. Why is it important uh, for you to, to shoot a movie? It's important because <laughs> this is like the first time We've joined forces not only with elite riders, but elite creatives. And everything's come together to maximize the potential that everybody brings to the table, whether that be board riding, film shooting. The, uh, it's, this is the culmination at the right moment at the right time with the new board and pushing something brand new in a way that nobody's seen before. So it's important to capture everything this moment has to offer. And we'll do it the best we can to the best of our ability and we have fun doing it. Seems like we're doing it. We're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> You're out of your mind for <laughs> doing that. Maybe it's what puts me in the right mind. Here we are. Right there. That's the Bali. It's real tech. Yeah, it's definitely just a mind game. Like <laughs> it's a air time. Bonk. It's like a normal bonk, but just like pause in the air and then the then line, you know, it's pretty chill that way. I'm not sure what I expected out of this trip. I knew that the shots that we were gonna be getting were sick because Aaron Hooper knows exactly what he's doing and 
I was stoked for that. So I knew like just coming into this, I was gonna have some fun. I had no idea about the riding I'd be doing, you know, especially like here at this place. It's just crazy. I'm speeding. thing you've seen most exciting thing that you're you want to watch on screen oh man the whole film I don't care um, there's not one thing I want to see the whole film cut and I will remember every moment and be like oh man it's so sick but I gotta say I just got down from a trail that Austin Road the single track um, on this ridge line and it was that was probably the most terrified I've ever been on a one wheel how much do I want it <laughs> middle section <laughs> Yeah. It's like that, and like that, and just sheer cliffs on both sides. You ever ridden anything like that? Oh, and it goes down no. over there. It's a mountain, so <laughs> no one's seen this, so get ready. <laughs> what was that, Austin? Say, can you say it again? Pretty fucking epic. Epic games up here. When I was a kid, I watched a bunch of free ride motocross videos with people I looked up to, and uh, I wanted so hard to be out there doing the things that they were doing. Get it, boys! Woo! Holy shit. That was fucking awesome. And uh, I definitely prefer a, a one wheel to a dirt bike these days, and to be doing the same stuff out here with all my close friends it's been amazing and the stuff that we've been able to achieve is the next level like we we all got the tools we have the talent this is all i could ever be wanting to do like this is this is amazing Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> Tell me, talk to me real quick about this uh, this feature that you're up against here. Uh, the one on the other side or this one? The Nemesis one. All right, so I don't know how many hours I've spent on that. This is pretty pretty intense. It's pretty large. She just went up there. Has she dropped yet? No, she's a little nervous about it. It's pretty freaking heavy. <laughs> that's, what, that's what I thought. <laughs> Dying. You got it, Mercedes. Thanks, buddy. The first day was at least three hours, I would say that. Yesterday, I spent a good hour, maybe two on it. The fear kicking in on that, it's something that you have to overcome yourself. Come on, you got this.
job. was definitely my first ride on the ridge with Austin because I'd never ridden a trail like that before in my life. This is so sick. Wow, what a backdrop. Yeah. Just complete drop-offs on either side. Super flowy, super fast, like super scary because the whole time you look off to either side and it's just straight vertical down. You know it's not gonna hurt you too bad probably if you don't fall off of it, but it still gets your heart racing so fast and just is so exciting. And uh, it was the first time riding terrain like that for me. You know, I've been riding for a lot of years, I've ridden a lot of stuff, but that was by far some of the sickest one wheeling I've ever done in my life. Yeah, GTS, bitch. Bro, oh my god, <laughs> that was insane. Yeah, We're definitely good. one of the sickest single tacks I've ever ridden, right? <laughs> and there's so many of these, dude. Yeah, I remember when you guys came back, you're like, All right, that was one of the sickest rides I've ever done. Yeah, literally, <laughs> it was like the whole time, I was like, yeah, I think this is the dopest show. When you accepted the speech at Full Life Fest about the films, you said films inspire the next generation. Tell me tell me a little bit about that, because that's a big reason why we're here. Yeah, well, I feel like films and movies are what help evolve sports and push sports and build like the culture behind sports and, most importantly, inspire the people doing the sports, the kids doing the sports that are going to be the next generation, the people that are out there doing it, like, it, it is this fuel for riding, you know, and it's like, also gives riders an opportunity to go out and push themselves and express themselves and capture it in amazing ways. And those films then go out to the, to the people and just spark the minds and get everybody so creative and excited and stoked and want to get out on their board more and try maybe some of the things that they saw or start striving towards that level or start looking for where those places were and wanting to go check them out and really it feels like to me films have been an extremely important part of skateboarding and snowboarding and surfing and pushing those sports and evolving those sports and encouraging those sports, advocating for them. You know, a lot of people get into certain things through seeing these videos. So hopefully this one is gonna get a ton of people stoked and get a lot of people wanting to either get on a one wheel or go ride their board more because stuff is amazing. And that's what we're out here to capture and let everybody know. Pretty next left. Pretty next left stuff here. <laughs> yeah. The man, the myth, the legend, Tyler mm. James.
<laughs> uh, <ooh. clears throat> What's the steepest thing you've ever been down? Mm. Steepest thing I've ever been down. Probably like a 16 foot wave. Oh, but uh, <laughs> but today. <laughs> but today, definitely like a 25 foot face. 30 foot face. 